Hello, this is Will from Probicup, and in this video, I will show you how you can recover and restore data back to your Asana account. As you can see here, I'm logged into a demo account of Asana where I just have one project and a few tasks with some extra data, such as um, comments and also tasks with subtasks and some uh, dependencies. So let's say I have this task here, the team reviews, and I have deleted this task in Asana, and I click on delete permanently. I do get an extra pop-up because once you've done this, this task is, and also its subtask, is deleted permanently from your account. So there's no way to recover this task uh, at this point. So how can I recover this task? I can log into ProBackup and select my Asana backup in the drop-down here. Then I go to backups. And on the left side, you see the different data types that we are backing up for Asana. In this case, I would like to restore a task, so I can just go to tasks. And then I can use these uh, drop downs to select the right projects. I can select the date of today because if I um, select these values, I can already see here the, um, the item that was just deleted from uh, my account. So how can I restore this? Uh, there's two options. I can either select the item or items in this table and then click here on restore tasks. I can also click on the name of the tasks to open this pop up and then you see all of the information here. And then at the bottom, you have also the option to restore a copy. It's called restore a copy. Why? Because we will actually never overwrite existing data when we restore data. We will always create a duplicate from the data backup to your account. So in that sense, it also doesn't matter if the item has been deleted or if it's still active, because we will just always add an, an extra duplicate of that record in Asana. And at the same time, we will always also always restore um, tasks to its parent entity. So if I restore a task, it will be automatically restored to its parent project. If I restore a project, it will be restored to its parent team. So. If, for example, you have lost an entire project, then you cannot restore those single tasks. Then instead, you will need to go to projects and restore the entire entire project instead. I'll show this uh, later in this video how to restore a project as well. For now, I would just like to restore this one task so I can select the task. Then I click on restore task. And if I then click on um, go to restores, I'm redirected to the reports page of uh, my accounts. And here you can follow up the progress of that restored task. So I can see here there's different attachments being restored. There's also some comments being restored. And um, it was also a task with a few subtasks. So these are also being restored as well. So we just don't, or we go, we go a bit further to as when you would restore data, when you import data back to Asana using an XLS file, because that way you can't restore attachments and comments. Using this restore functionality of ProBackup, we also restore metadata such as subtasks, comments, attachments, uh, and so on. If I then go to Asana, I can already see here that the task that I just restored um, is already available. So it's a pretty quick process, especially when you restore single tasks, it goes pretty fast. If you're restoring um, a bigger amount of data, let's say 50 tasks or an entire project with a lot of tasks, then the restore process, of course, can take a bit longer. If I open a task, I can, I can see that all of the related information, such as the dependencies, description, subtasks, the files, and also the comments have been restored. Uh, in addition to restoring deleted tasks, you can also just test the restore by restoring tasks that are still active in your project. So this is a handy way to re test the restore functionality if you don't wish to delete any data from your account. Let's say I select just this draft um, task here, which still exists in my account, uh, but when I restore it, here's just a, a task with no extra um, attachments or comments. So once I've done that, then the same task will actually exist twice in my account. So this is the original one and this is the restored version. So this is a handy way to test it. You can always just delete the version that you just restored um, in order to clean up your account. Um, but so our system doesn't make a distinction between restoring items that were deleted or active. We will just always create a duplicate from the data backup. Now, what happens if I want to restore an entire project? The process is actually very similar. So I go back to backups and then I click on projects here. And there's just one project, so it's easy to choose. But to restore it, you just select uh, the project here. Or again, you can open it and then click on restore copy. And once you've done that, again, we'll have a breakdown of the restore process, but we will not 
change anything to the existing project. Instead, you will see if you go to Asana, an extra new project being added to your account. So it, it's already appeared. Of course, it takes a bit of time before all the custom field values and also the items, tasks and comments and so on are restored. Um, but it's a similar process. So I can see here most of the tasks are almost done. I'll already go to Asana and have a look how it looks. So as you can see, the, the project is slowly but surely being restored. And of course, the same counts when you have deleted this project, then you would also be able again to restore this entire project. So this is how it works to restore tasks and projects. You can also even go further and, and restore more, like do a more granular restore. You can go to attachments, select a certain project and then restore those things or those data types as well to your account. In this case, that file will then always be restored to its parent tasks if it still exists. Otherwise, you would need to, if the task doesn't exist, you would need to restore its parent task first. Um, same for comments and custom fields, because when, when you work in Asana, it's not always about deleting an entire project or deleting a few tasks. It can also be that, you know, somebody of your team accidentally deletes the status fields and then you lose all that information and those values as well. So by then restoring that custom um, field, for example, you don't only restore back that field, but also the values of the tasks from the last backup. So this is also a very handy and powerful feature. So this is how the restore works for Pro Backup. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions about Pro Backup, then I suggest checking out either our help center or our YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.